When hiring a technical SEO specialist, you want someone that can answer questions like how indexing work, not someone that replies that what Screaming Frog does is ribbit. So let's see nine of the best questions you should ask to find the right person for the job. Given that this role is incredibly technical, we'll be kicking off with some questions that all technical SEO specialists should know how to answer well. You can start by asking the person to explain how they check if a particular URL is being indexed by Google. There are a couple of ways to answer this question. The first and perhaps easiest way to find out if a URL has been indexed by Google is to use the site search operator. This operator is a great way to get Google to show all the URLs they have indexed for a particular site. The second way to find if Google has indexed the URL is to use Google Search Console. For extra points, the candidate may well explain they'd use the site search operator if they did not have access to a client's Google Search Console account. Next, ask how they would stop a URL from being indexed by Google. You can expect a nuanced answer here as the candidate is likely to mention the robots.txt and no index tag. You want to make sure the candidate understands the differences between these two key technical directives. The robots.txt file is only used to let Google know whether they can crawl a URL or not. Even if Googlebot is blocked from crawling a URL, that URL can still be indexed by Google. On the other hand, a noindex tag will stop a URL from being indexed even if Google crawls it. The candidate may also explain that you can use canonical tags to stop duplicate pages from being indexed by Google, which is particularly useful for e-commerce websites. Speaking of canonicals, ask the candidate if they can explain how a canonical works. This should not be difficult for a technical SEO to answer because canonicals are simple to understand. Essentially, canonicalization tells Google which page should be treated as the main page that should be indexed when there are instances of very similar or duplicate content. Again, canonicals are essential for e-commerce websites. You should also ask the candidate to explain why a technical SEO specialist would complete log file analysis. In its purest form, log file analysis allows technical SEOs to know how search engine crawlers like Googlebot and Bingbot access a site. This process allows them to know which pages are being crawled regularly and maybe recommend some changes to make better use of this crawling such as adding or removing internal links. It will also help them establish which pages are not being crawled at all. Essentially, log file analysis allows to see a website from the point of view of a search engine, and this is the answer you should be looking for. Another good question is asking the candidate how they would perform a site audit. This question doesn't necessarily have a right or wrong answer. Instead, this is a chance for the candidate to explain their process for conducting site audits, which is especially useful if you are an agency. As a rule of thumb, you should be looking for more information like what software do they use, how they set up their crawling software for different sites, what issues do they fix as a first priority, do they fix issues themselves or is it all sent to a development team. Now let's focus on personal questions that help determine if the candidate is the right fit for the company culture. An interesting question is asking the candidate about how they started in SEO. Most people did not know what SEO was at the start of their careers. You are looking for an answer that gives you more insight into the candidate's background. Perhaps they started as an IT support specialist and then later transitioned into SEO. Perhaps they started in a writing role and then realized they enjoyed the technical side more than writing. There really is no right or wrong answer here. Also ask about the part the candidate enjoys the most about SEO. This is an essential question for the candidate to show their passion for the role. Ideally, you are looking for a candidate that's into SEO for more than just the money. You should hopefully find that they enjoy the technical side the most as this is a position for a technical SEO specialist, after all. Some might enjoy making technical changes that make a site faster. Others may love solving technical problems that fix crawling and indexing issues. Others may love that SEO is data-oriented. Another cool thing to know about a candidate is their favorite SEO tools. 
Again, you should not be looking for a right or wrong answer here. Instead, look into their thinking process and what tools they know and like to use. Ideally, the candidate mentions at least one crawling tool like Screaming Frog, Sitebulb or Spotify. These are tools that allow a technical SEO to perform their duties to the maximum, so they should mention at least one of those crawling tools. Beyond that, there are many tools they could mention. For example, when testing and reporting are going to be a big part of the role, software like SEO testing could be mentioned as an option. Especially for agency side work given it is incredibly cost effective and simple to use as part of client communication and reporting. But this is mostly down to preferences and what the candidate has worked on in the past. Finally, ask the candidate about how they stay up to date with their SEO knowledge. As we know, SEO is an ever-changing field and we must keep learning regularly. Because of this, a technical SEO must stay up to date with the latest news in the industry. How they do it is really up to them. Some candidates may use trusted people on SEO Twitter like Lily Ray, Kevin Indig and Maria Ains, just to name a few. Another good option is to follow newsletters. Here at SEO Testing we like two newsletters in particular. SEO FOMO by Aleda Solis, which includes links to news you may have missed and people to follow within the industry. And Marketing on Mondays by Ryan Jones, which includes detailed write-ups on technical SEO topics, content marketing, interviews with successful marketers and rants. There you have it, these are some of the interview questions we recommend adding to your interviewing process for technical SEO specialists. Some questions require specific answers whilst others are open questions. Now watch this video here to learn more about SEO testing, a tool to help you grow search traffic through testing and experimentation.